Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today we're continuing with day four. I left the pantry out because I have a few different cupboards that can be considered this pantry. I knew it would be a long task and on Saturday I had a really long day so I left this. It's actually filmed on a Monday morning. I have to quickly edit, do the voiceover and upload. So this footage is actually from the day when you'll be watching and after I'm done with the pantry I have to quickly start with day 5 so that you can have that ready on Tuesday. And I've started with this big unit because I thought it would be the easiest. I have a lot of appliances in here but I wasn't entirely right. This unit had so many things that had to be discarded. There was just too mentally and emotionally um, taxing at the end because if, if you've seen my previous decluttering video you know that I feel extreme guilt when I'm throwing food away and I've already started with some um, nori sheets and some nutritional ease that had expired back in 2021. I had probably just bought them that I, because I needed them for one meal idea and then never ended up using the rest of them. I do have a lot of things in here you'll see um, when I'm throwing them away are related to a ketogenic gluten-free diet that I had attempted after my youngest was born and that was just before the lockdown and obviously when lockdown struck I completely um, abandoned all dieting plans and workouts so a lot of the stuff had actually expired back in 21 and 22 and I just never threw them away I don't know why and because I have really bad hyperfixation where I need to be fully prepared and buy all the supplements and all the different products that I might need all the different meal replacements in different flavors as well I end up overbuying. that's a big problem for me you would have seen that in the previous decluttering when I did my spice cupboard I had so many different super greens and berries and superfoods and things that you add to your cereals and just to yogurts and yeah things that I just didn't use some of the things brand new never even opened and expired years ago and I was feeling really really bad in the book Katie Berry says the clean pantry can save you a lot of money or if you neglect it it can actually end up costing you and in my case it's costing me a big time because I have things that I have completely forgotten about I have completely abandoned so if I need something new I would just add it to my weekly shopping it's not a well stocked and organized pantry the way I thought it is because actually most of the food in there was just complete rubbish and I'm the person who's constantly complaining I don't have enough space I don't have enough space I don't know where to put things well <laughs> if I hadn't kept so much junk in there I would have had just enough space and back to the process so I'm taking everything out one shelf at a time to stop it from becoming extremely overwhelming and not knowing what to do with it i'm wiping the, the shelves and um all the items so that they're all nice and clean before i put them back in place and i'm checking all the expiry dates and what he actually is in there and in this video i only managed to go through that big unit i didn't do anything with the rest because after i threw two bags of gone off food I just felt so bad. Harris there gave me a hug and he has no idea how much I needed this right now because I was just going through stuff that had to be thrown away and it's not right. Food should not be thrown away. I don't believe in wasting food and also I can't ignore the fact that at the end of it when I looked at everything that I had thrown away even the brand new stuff I realized that at the end of the day this was hundreds and hundreds of pounds just Bend. I know they've already been spent. I don't feel guilty about that, but it is something that I can't ignore. It just how wasteful I really am. And that really gets to me mentally, emotionally. I just feel like a failure of an adult. 
I used to have that with a lot of fresh produce and that's when my husband and I decided it's probably best for us if we switch to HelloFresh because I would have all the ingredients, I wouldn't have to worry about oh I'm missing this, I'm missing that, do I have enough of this, oh I bought too much of that and now it's gone off and that has been working for us but it created a different problem. I already had a lot of things in the pantry that just got abandoned because I kept getting new fresh ingredients for my daily weekly meals and I didn't need the dry ingredients that I had already bought too much of and if you've been watching my videos you might have noticed that on the side of the kitchen on the floor I had a big bag of protein powder I finally picked it up and again it has expired back in 2022 and it has stayed in the kitchen floor for the last month and I never even checked it so it was time for that to be thrown away and I have an old air fryer that I've only ever used for fries and I have a multi cooker that pretty much only ever gets used when I take part in school events and we make vegan hot dogs so this one is used for the vegan hot dogs and other people bring multi cookers and slow cookers for the rest of the hot dogs so that they can stay in hot water while we are selling them. I don't really use them at home, I just use my stove and my ovens but um, while I'm throwing all of these protein powders and meal replacements I am taking all the scoops and things away because I am trying to recycle as much as possible I didn't want to throw everything straight in landfill as well this box of amino acid proved to be really difficult it had gone into one big solid rock I got a knife to try and break it down in order to get it out of the box and just wasn't working so eventually I ended up adding water to it and then kept stabbing it until I managed to break it up a little bit just so that I can pull it out of the box and it was brand new I had never opened this so yeah i guess this is what happens when you buy things to go to the gym and then you never end up going and you never end up using them and they stay in the house for the last two three years um yeah i'm trying to see the comical funny side to things because this was not a pleasant experience for me and this is exactly why i thought okay this is enough for monday once we are done with this unit we can just close the door pretend it never happened and move on to day five because i'm hoping that i'll have a little bit um, better time and my house really needed a daily routine i had my sister come over yesterday morning and my stepdad came um, after he arrived back from America, he was there for work and he came around um, probably four or five o'clock and stayed until late. But I did manage to squeeze in some productivity, as you will see in the second half of this video. I tried to tackle some of our playroom. That's why the kids are in and out of there today, because I did try to to make a little usable space for them which as I said you will see this um, just in a few minutes and I was on to the bottom shelf and this one hadn't been touched in forever so it was actually gone extremely dusty and there were cobwebs and stuff like that I had to first of all hover it and yes under the unit I have a big cast iron pan my husband calls it a murder weapon because it's so heavy I just feel like it's the weight of it just seem appropriate to be put in any of my drawers and this bottom shelf is where I had all of the protein powders that's why it was so badly neglected um, this is all the nice tidy clean unit now if I get rid of all of these dry ingredients and squeeze them in one of the other um, cupboards that I've got with pantry stuff I might be able to get myself the new ninja air fryer and a crock pot <laughs> that probably never going to be used again but anyway this is the aftermath after this decluttering my kitchen is growing for attention which we'll tackle as part of day five and this is what I managed to do yesterday uh, on a Sunday this was the state of the playroom. It was so bad. The kids would try to sit on the sofa and then they'll knock all the clothes that, that you've probably seen me wash and iron over the last few days. These are just school uniforms and because the unit where we normally keep them was blocked up, as you will see, um, I had to put them on the sofa and yeah, this is what happens. My hit 
cards could empty the few of the baskets that I've been trying to organize toys in. Now, the state of the playroom is not entirely their fault. Um, as, as you might know, we swapped our playroom and home office, and I've been trying to organize their toys properly ever since. And since I started this challenge, I just hadn't been in here. I had to blur the footage here that's deliberate because leaning over in front of the camera in a strappy dress is not exactly the kind of content I can I want to create um, if you know what I mean and when I enter a room that has been trashed so bad I try to first of all clear the floor by putting things into categories so that I can clear up some space for myself and because this was quite late in the evening i knew i don't stand a chance of clearing out the whole playroom i wanted to tackle one area and for me that was clothes so once i've cleared the floor um i tackled the unit with the school uniforms i am trying to work with progress not perfection and that's really difficult for me i am a perfectionist if i don't have the time or the energy to tackle a whole room top to bottom i tend to procrastinate on it and just abandon it but thanks to this challenge that i'm doing now and a few other books that i've read i realized that doing one task at a time and tackling one small area still benefits your space you don't have to do it all at once you don't have to get your completely overworked and overwhelmed and this is what I'm trying to do this is what I'm trying to practice progress not perfection and as the fly lady says housework done incorrect it's better than not done at all or housework done incorrect still blesses your home I'm not sure exactly how the saying goes but yes a little bit of management in here created a space that my kids were using on Monday morning as you saw when I was sorting out the pantry they were in and out of here and they were glad that I had given it a bit of attention so for the rest of the week I would just come and spend about 15-20 minutes in here every day to try and finally finish this room for them and if anyone is wondering why are my kids not helping well because at the moment the state of this room was you saw an absolute disaster and if me as an adult struggles to figure out where to even start and what to do how do i expect three kids under 10 the older two being neurodivergent to be able to do that by themselves so um, I started by taking all of their school uniforms out clearing out wiping down the um, drawers and decluttering I took all the small items or things that didn't fit them anymore that they didn't need out because the school is having a summer fair soon and I'll be donating all of this for them to be resold to other parents and I wanted the sofa um, at the moment just trying to refold and check the sizes because when I fold and iron I pile them for each child in a separate pile but they had all gotten mixed up so I had to do that all over again and separate them in order to be able to put them in the now organized unit and I had enough space and that really helped and I felt really good because you see I managed to get one full bin bag with uniforms to be donated and then I had another semi-full bag of clothes that can just go to charity there were small clothes um what I'm trying to do now because decluttering is so not in my nature I find this so difficult so when I'm doing laundry if I've noticed that the kids were wearing something during the day that's kind of gone small or it's just not fitting right anymore I wash it and then straight away separate it while I'm folding the laundry and I had a few things that just needed to go in a bag and we normally take the bag with us when we do our food shopping most supermarkets have containers um, for clothes to go to charity I hope they go to charity but this is what we do because what I had tried to do before is huge declutters and then we book an appointment with our local um, recycling center and take all the big bags with us and that's just way too overwhelming so taking things straight out of the laundry works better for me
And I know that this way of decluttering clothes takes a lot longer um, to go through everything, but it's great way of maintenance. So if you've done a big decluttering and you have kids, you know that they're constantly outgrowing things, they're constantly changing their clothes, and it's a great way of maintenance so that you can prevent another huge declutter in the future. And I'm just trying to very quickly sort out the sofa and fluff up the pillows. And my kids love playing with blankets. So they have a lot of play blankets around here that I just put on the side. And my main aim for today was to just sort out the clothes and the sofa and clear out a bit of the floor so that we can actually walk in and out of here. I was planning to cut this footage out but decided, no, I'm completely transparent. This is what an overwhelmed, confused person who doesn't know what to do actually looks like. The videos are always really sped up, so it might seem like I'm handling it perfect and I'm doing well, but no, in reality, as you can see, I do get overwhelmed and I had to stop and take a breather and try and reassess the situation. But anyway, I'm just putting all the clothes for the charity away. And as I said, my main aim was to deal with the clothes and I managed that so I can call it a day and leave another section for tomorrow. As you will see, I still made some progress and I'm happy that I did. I knew that I can't do the whole room but I did manage to do some and that's a win.